Hi, Susan Winter here for SusanWinter.net. One of the most horrific feelings that we can be saddled with is wanting a person that we can't have. Whether it's that we're still hung up on our ex or we're obsessed with the person that we started to date, they won't get in the gate, they're ghosting us, they're in and out, they're hot and cold. And what normally happens is our logical mind knows that it's not going to work. We know that we should be moving on but we find that task almost impossible. But there's good reason, because there's something that we do, and we don't even know we do it, that keeps them in the center of the frame of that image that says, this is what I want. So I've had to deal with this so many times, not only with myself, but with others, that I do have a solution for this. Let me deconstruct this for you so that you can get over, get past, and get beyond this situation. Whether we know it or not, the moment that we decide that we want this person, we've had a moment in time where we took a mental snapshot of a peak experience. We felt peace, love, joy, excitement. We felt fully alive. And there was a moment that you added to that visual that you were experiencing a subtext. It's like you added the line, and this is the person I want for the rest of my life. When my clients think about this carefully, they can tell me the exact moment that this happened. I have a man who was explaining that within the first month of meeting this lady, they were in a car together, the weather was fabulous, the music was wonderful, they were laughing, they were having a good time. He turned around and looked at her and saw this beautiful woman. And he felt so fabulous in that moment, filled with so much joy. And he thought, this is the woman I want for the rest of my life. So he added that tagline to this image that he shot. They were broken up four months later. There was no way that relationship could have sustained itself. They were incredibly different people. But he has spent the last few months trying to get over her until we applied this technique. You see, what happened is you took a picture in your mind of a moment and like any photographer who's just starting out, you put the subject in the center of the frame. Not your fault, they were there. And so because of that, what you think you are missing, what you think you must have that you can't get over and you can't let go of, is this person, center frame of the photo of your unbelievable, exquisite happiness. Now what you really are in love with is the feeling the feeling you had in that moment that was so rich, the person just happens to be in the center of the frame. So of course it's confusing. It looks like it's all about them. And when the mind tries to reconstruct this, we say, well, I wouldn't have had that moment if it weren't for that person. True, they were a participant in your moment of joy. But for all we know, you're the only one out of the two of you that had that profound feeling. So what I'd ask you to do is to take a moment, remember where you took that mental snapshot. See it, feel it all over again, because I promise you it could have been a blip on the screen, but you took one. And you added to that the statement that has locked you into that subject, that person, being at the center of your happiness, which why would you be able to walk away from that? I want you to see that. Mentally see yourself extracting that person. Kind of like the ghost shadow halos that you have when you can't see a person in an image. Place them to the side. Look at the photo again. Remember that peak experience of happiness. That's yours. That belongs to you. And actually, that's your ultimate lover. That's the thing that you are looking for. That's the thing that you want. It's not that person. Try this technique. You might have to do it a couple of times, but when you have a moment of anxiety that comes over you, repeat this whole format and see if it doesn't finally sink in that what you're truly in love with was what you felt, not the person. And you should have relief to finally, once and for all, be able to process this and move forward through this kind of understanding. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.